Ever since I started doing reviews for the PS4, I've covered most of the releases featuring characters and worlds of the Toho project, and there's been quite a lot of them released, with the newest one being Azure Reflections. But does this shoot 'em up end up hitting its target, or should this game just have stayed in Japan? Originally being released in 2012, Azure Reflections making its way over to the PS4 is just the newest in a long line of Toho Project games coming over to the console. This one, unlike a lot of the games featuring the Toho Project characters, is a shoot 'em up that's horizontal instead of vertical. It also allows you to fire both to the right and to the left behind you, with enemies coming at you in all directions throughout the course of the game. Azure Reflections is relatively light as far as modes are concerned. In fact, there's only one main gameplay mode, and that is the story mode. The story mode features three playable characters, but you only have one unlocked from the start. Completing the first story, you'll unlock the second, then the third, and finally a set of bonus chapters as well. This doesn't add any new playable characters or anything, but it does have a few more levels of play. There's also a practice mode that you can go into that basically just practice boss battles as well as tough levels so you can get better at them and eventually beat them on the harder difficulties. This is one of those games that you will need to be on normal or hard though in order to unlock everything. The gameplay is relatively standard for a shoot 'em up. You have your main fire, some special weapons, as well as the shield. You can end up using your shield and boost through enemies, destroying them, absorbing bullets, and also run into bosses, knocking them backwards and stopping whatever attacks they're using. You'll also be rewarded with getting the spell cards or these bombs that will be able to do special moves to really do some damage. In the levels themselves, there are some collectibles to keep an eye out for, as well as by completing runs, you'll earn money and be able to buy stuff from the accessory shop. Here you can dress up your character, there's a okay variety of stuff here, and will at least keep you busy for an extra few minutes in order to get everything. As far as the story goes, it is a pretty standard Toho Project related story. These games are much more about the gameplay than necessarily the story, but there are some interactions between the characters that may make you laugh out loud a little bit. From the technical side of things though, I didn't run into any major issues, no crashing, slowdown, or major glitches. Azure Reflection is available now on the PS4 for $24.99, and it does have a Platinum Trophy. Overall, Azure Reflections is a fun and challenging shoot 'em up that's over way too quickly, doesn't have enough variety in the characters itself, or even extras that keep you interested for very long, especially considering the price. Though from my experience with shoot 'em ups, it seems like most fans of the genre usually don't care much about the price. So unless you're a real diehard shoot 'em up fan or Toho Project fan itching to get their hands on something new in either thing, I would honestly just wait for a sale for this one. I'm gonna be giving the game a six out of ten, and that's gonna wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.